who's operating without goals, I have bad news for you. You don't have a business. You have a hobby. You're listening to Tripod, a podcast produced by Tricycle Creative to help safely navigate creative business owners through the worlds of digital marketing, strategic content creation, and business growth. Host Ross Erosion is a marketing consultant, content creator, and entrepreneur who brings you helpful tips, social media updates, inspiring interviews, and his own unique perspective on how to tell your story and grow your business. So if you're interested in being a better marketer, business owner, or creator, sit back, relax, and let's get pedaling. You know what? Maybe I was too harsh on you if you don't have goals. No, not harsh enough. I have a hobby, playing video games. Specifically for the last six months, I've been obsessed with this game called Borderlands 3. And even in that game, there are goals. You acquire new skills for your character, you get new gear, you unlock new levels, you know, nerdy stuff like that. Creative business owners that don't have goals typically use one of these excuses. First, oh, they're too small. They don't need them. Second, don't know where to start, or for that matter, how to track it. Or third, whether you admit it or not, you're scared. You're scared to set your goals. No matter what your reason or excuse, here's the reality. Goals put you in the driver's seat for your business. So unless you want to end up at the wrong destination or be that station wagon with its blinker on going 20 miles under the speed limit, you need goals. In this episode, I'm going to take you through some goal setting systems that you can use to keep yourself and your business on track. But first, a word from our sponsor. It probably comes as no surprise to you that Instagram is the favorite social media platform among creative business owners. Instagram also continues to find new and interesting ways for small businesses to generate revenue, promote their products, their service, their expertise. But Instagram does have a major limitation, external links. They won't work in your captions and you can only use them in stories if you have a large follower count. Sure, they give you link in bio, but that's just one link. Problem solved with solo.to. Solo.to is one bio link for everything. When you create a solo.to account, you can showcase tons of links for your business. And if you're a creator like me, you can even embed music, videos, and podcasts right there on Instagram from your favorite platforms. Want to see solo.to in action? Head on over to Tricycle Creative's Instagram account at Hello Tricycle and click the link in our bio. Solo.to offers a free plan to get you started and you can upgrade for as little as $1 a month. Use the referral link in this episode's description and in the show notes and you can save 10% off any upgrade package within 48 hours of signing up. Solo.to, it's one bio link for everything. Now, before we get into goal setting, let's first take a look at the instruction manual for goals, right? To better understand the parts. To do this, I'm going to reference an ebook that was created by Asana that talks about and introduces the Pyramid of Clarity. This week, we are rolling out the brand new Sabre tablet, the Pyramid. Ooh, why is it shaped like that? So you can tell your clients, unleash the power of the pyramid. It's huge. How much does it weigh? Oh, no, no, no. Without the battery pack and the optional memory booster, it's barely three pounds. How much memory does it have without the booster? 50 L. I'm sorry, L? Mm -hmm. How many L to a K? You're really going to want the booster. <laughs> so here's how we start. Envision a pyramid. All right. You got it. That was an easy assignment. Okay, at the top of the pyramid of clarity is mission. Mission is the highest level of accomplishment you can achieve with your business. This is like the aspirational impact that you want to make on the world. Now, the next level down from the tippy top is objectives. Objectives are whatever you want to achieve with your business. 
next level down on the pyramid of clarity, key results. This is the third tier down. And this is how you measure your progress towards your objectives. Last, but certainly not least, at the foundational level of the pyramid of clarity is work. Work is the individual tasks, projects, and processes that drive progress towards a key result. Many small business owners honestly never get past work. They spend all their time just doing work and wondering, why isn't my business growing? Okay, now that you understand the parts of goal setting, let's talk about some of the programs that I recommend. The first goal setting program is incredibly simple, and it comes from the mind of Tim Ferriss. He's the author of Four Hour Work Week and a podcast host, certainly in his own right. He has an awesome podcast. Check it out, Tim Ferriss. It's called, this goal setting program is called the Past Year Review. And despite its name, you don't have to wait for a new year to do it. Here's how it works the Past Year Review doesn't dig into financials or numbers, or even for that matter, a ton of specifics. But that's a good thing if you're sitting there and you're gun shy about goal setting. It can provide a great foundation that you can build on. And the idea with it is quite simple. You wanna get more positive and cut out the negative. It's simple. It takes like 30 minutes, it's actionable, and it yields immediate results. And in case you really want to dig into it, I'll link directly to Tim's blog post in the show notes and the description, but here's the rundown. First, grab a sheet of paper, make two columns, label one positive, label the other negative. Okay. Second, go through your calendar from last year, looking at every single week. And for each week, jot down on your paper, the people, the activities, the commitments, that triggered peak positive or peak negative emotions for that month and then put them in their respective columns. Once you've gone through your entire past year, look at the list and ask what 20% of each column produced the most reliable or powerful peaks. And here's what you do with that information. Based on your answers, Take your positive leaders and schedule more of them in the new year. And Tim Ferriss really encourages, do it now. Don't wait. Book those things with your friends. Prepay for those activities. Get them on the calendar. It's not real until it's on the calendar. That's step one. Step two, take those negative leaders and put a not to-do list at the top and put it somewhere you can see it all the time. And these are people and things that you know don't bring you joy. They bring you down. They bum you out. They kind of make you miserable. So don't put them on your calendar. Don't put them on out of obligation or guilt. Just get rid of it. Hey, guys and gals, dogs and cats, moms and dads. Are you enjoying the show so far? We're only a third of the way through. I still have two more goal setting programs to bring to you. But before we get there, if you're enjoying the show, it would mean a ton to me if you left a review. Specifically, leaving a review in Apple Podcasts is major. But if there are reviews you can leave wherever you get your podcasts, please, please consider taking some time leaving me a review, writing it up. It really means a lot to me, but it also really helps me grow my show audience. And I don't know, if you're not comfortable or don't know how even to leave a a review, um, tell your friends about this show. Share it on your social. I really appreciate it. And it really, again, helps me grow this show and hopefully help more creative business owners just like you. A new goal setting system that I came across this year and that I'm adapting for Tricycle Creative is OKRs. OKRs are born out of John Dewar's book, Measure What Matters. 
And it stands for Objective and Key Results, which operates as the base framework for your goal setting. Measuring what matters begins with the simple question, what is most important for the next three or six or 12 months? An objective is simply what is to be achieved. No more, no less. By definition, objectives are significant, concrete, action-oriented, and ideally a little inspirational. When properly designed and deployed, you're a vaccine against fuzzy thinking and fuzzy execution. Now, key results, on the other hand, benchmark and monitor how you get to your objective. Effective key results are specific and time-bound, and they're aggressive yet realistic. Most of all, they are measurable and verifiable. Here's a specific example from an ebook put together by Asana titled, What Are OKRs? And this is for the city of Syracuse. Now, their objective was to increase economic investment and neighborhood stability. Key result, number one, 95% of permits and zoning approvals will be issued on time. Key result, number two, increase compliance of code violations by the comply-by date from 20% to 35%. And key result, number three, improve stability in the quality of life pilot area by 20%. Once you've established your OKRs, you can better define the tasks required to actually achieve those goals. And you know what? I am big on talking the talk and walking the walk. So if you go to the show notes for this uh, podcast, tripodpodcast.com, I am sharing in the show notes my actual OKRs for 2021. Now, there's a little more to OKRs if you are interested and want to learn more. Um, I would encourage you, if you're at least a little bit curious, to buy the book. And I will also link to that in the show notes, tripodpodcast.com, and in the description. And I want to tell you this. It is an affiliate link, which means if you're thinking about buying the book, because I just told you about it, please use that link, because if you buy it, I get a couple bucks from that purchase, and it really helps to support this podcast. In the interest of giving you options, but uh, not overwhelming you, I wanted to share one more goal-setting system that also has three letters. E-O-S. Now, I should probably also tell you, I have a blog post about EOS, a book report, and it is month over month, at this point, almost year over year, the most popular content on my website. People really love the EOS system. And I talked about before the pyramid of clarity. It kind of has its own pyramid of clarity, and it's made up of six components. Uh, I don't think these are in, uh, well, maybe they are actually in a hierarchical, or hierarchic, that's a hard word to say, hierarchical order. The first, vision. This is when everyone in the company is working towards the same goals. Less frustration, fewer mistakes, more gets done in less time, and work is more fun, right? You're all focused, you get a lot more done, everyone's priorities align. The second component is people. This helps to build great teams, and it puts the right people in the right seats. The third component is data. Designed to help you objectively see where you're going, both as an individual and as a company. The fourth, issues. Well, by now you've probably thought of a few things that need to be improved, fixed, or changed to make your business better. These are called issues. They include anything unresolved that, that needs to be discussed, such as problems, opportunities, or even new or better ways to do things. And the fifth component is process. This creates at a high level a consistent way of doing all of the company's operations. It's basically a checklist. When the process component is 100% strong, your organization has documented the core things you do every day. Everyone follows these processes and that creates consistency and efficiency. 
Even better, these processes can be scaled so that your company can grow in a manageable way. And the sixth and final component is traction. Traction is about discipline, execution, and accountability. It helps a company clarify and choose the right priorities. When the traction component is 100% strong, you get traction. You move forward. EOS, simply put, is based on setting priorities in 90-day increments. It also borrows the concept of setting your rocks. Now you're probably, what, what the hell does that mean, Ross? Rocks? I don't even know what that is. Okay, that's all right. Here's an explanation directly from the EOS book. The term rocks comes from a simple science experiment made popular by Dr. Stephen R. Covey in his book, First Things First. It works like this. Imagine you have a small pile of rocks, some pebbles and some sand. Your objective is to get them all to fit in a glass jar. If you put the sand in first and then the pebbles, the rocks don't fit. However, if you put the rocks in first and then the pebbles, which will filter down in between the rocks, and finally the sand, which filters down between the rocks and the pebbles, it all fits in the same size jar. The jar here, it represents all the time you have in a day. The rocks represent the most important things you must get done. The pebbles represent your day-to-day -day responsibilities, and the sand represents all the interruptions during the day. Now, before I wrap this episode, I did want to quickly present a couple of systems that can help you track your goals. The task management and goal tracking system that I personally use for myself and for Tricycle Creative is Asana. A-S-A-N-A. I swear by it. It helps me keep track of Tricycle Creative, and client projects and offers a wide variety of templates that pretty much fit any project. Also, I can tell you this, it has a super generous freemium version. So generous, in fact, I think I used the freemium version for like four or five years without paying for it. So give it a try. If you're just, particularly, if you're just one person, um, it the freemium, you might be able to get by using it. It's once you start adding teams, where you may have to start paying Asana. One other task management and goal tracking system that many of my colleagues use and enjoy is monday.com. Now, full disclosure, I don't have experience with it, but I have looked at the tools on behalf of clients and it might be something you'd also want to check out. Finally, if digital tools aren't your cup of tea, allow me to tell you about the Full Focus Planner. As I mentioned, I use Asana, but many of my creative business owner friends rave about the Full Focus Planner. It also comes highly recommended by my friend Jamie Steele, founder of Tidy Your Time, and she's a digital organizer who helps her clients organize their time and technology so they can focus on their passions. You can hear my interviews with her on past episodes of Tripod. Last year review, OKRs, and EOS, these are just three goal setting programs. And if any of them piqued your interest, I've put links in the show notes at tripodpodcast.com for you. If these programs didn't interest you, don't just throw the goal setting baby out with the bathwater. Do some exploration, do a Google search, ask your business network, research other programs, just because you haven't found the goal setting program that's right for you, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. In fact, it may even be something that you have to build yourself. But if that's the case, it ain't gonna do it itself. You have to put in time. You have to invest in setting goals to move your business forward. Throughout my whole career, I've cobbled together systems by taking a little bit from here and a little bit from another and putting them together into something that works for me. So make it your goal to make some goals this year. 
whatever year you might be listening to this, make some goals, hold yourself accountable, grow your business, and of course, keep pedaling. Thanks for listening to Tripod. Be sure to subscribe and rate the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, Stitcher, or wherever you listen. For show notes and past episodes, go to tripodpodcast.com. Connect with Tricycle Creative on social media at Hello Tricycle and learn more about how we can help you with your marketing at tricycle-creative.com.